Hi guys and welcome back to my blog to beat or not to beat. Hope you liked my previous video about over the air update for Arduino using the NRF24. But today I wanted to talk to you about a video that inspired me by Jupe Brocking. It's a tutorial video about the STM32 blue pill and how to program it and to use the MPU6050 sensor board. In this video, Job tested the I2C communication from the MPU sensor board to the STM microcontroller. He used a real hardware oscilloscope to test the signal and show the errors and how to fix them. These hardware oscilloscopes are very useful, but could also be quite expensive, especially for a beginner. So I thought, why not replicate the hardware setup and try the same experiment with my USB Hentec 6022PE and see how the signals looks like or if it's even capable measuring these kinds of signals. I own the Antic 6022B. It's a PC USB digital portable oscilloscope that features two 20 MHz analog channels. The signal can be shown on a computer with a dedicated software that comes with it. I have tested the 100 kHz and 400 kHz with no problem. You can see the clock signals and the data signals and everything seems to be perfect. And it only costs around $70. There are multiple ways to investigate the signal and the software has some nice measuring capabilities. But of course it has less features than the hardware ones and probably will not work at the higher scales of megahertz signals. I've also tried the same experiment with my USB 24 MHz 8 channel logic analyzer and the results are pretty good as well. And this one only costs $10. I've connected channel 0 to the clock and channel 1 to the data and you can see the data and the signal and you can see the 400k signal on the side. Be sure to check Job Brocking video and his very cool channel. He has some very cool stuff over there. If you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe and check out the links to the mentioned products in the description. They are an affiliate links, so please use them if you would like to support this channel. And I hope to see you on the next To Beat or Not To Beat video.